I got bribes in Atlanta, she's the Dolby in the family Credit cards in the scams, hitting the licks in the van Legacies, fam, wait and see, like a panda Go on, I like a Five minutes tonight, Kevin, they said you were on a minute restriction, so how'd you feel after playing 25? Uh, I felt pretty good. Um, you know, initially that first win is always tough, but uh, even after that I felt like um, my legs were underneath me and that I could have um, played a little bit more even in the, uh, the second blow, but uh, you know, a lot of guys stepped up and, and played quality minutes tonight, and even in a sloppy fourth quarter we were able to get it done. Kevin, a lot has changed on this team since you last played. A lot of new guys the other guys gone. Mm -hmm. What was your first impression of, of playing with the guys who were, who were here? Yeah, I mean, it was uh, not totally uh, limited minutes. I mean, I think I'm only averaging 28 for the season, but um, just being out there with those those new guys, uh, it felt good. Um, you know, to get to be out there too much with with some of them, but it'll be nice to you know get our whole whole team back and back healthy, especially with Rodney and Larry. Uh, out being the new guys and Tristan and Jetty and all the, and all them, so um, it's going to take us a little bit of time, but um, you know, we get stronger as the season goes on. And, but it was nice to play with uh, JC and uh, George Hill. It was good. Where did your uh, timeline accelerate a little? It seemed like you were thinking middle or end of the week when we talked about. Uh, only uh, well, when I talked to you in Phoenix, I, I just need to get one more scan. So um, I got the scan uh, this morning, and so I was just waiting on the word uh, getting back from that. And uh, they told me, um, you know, depending on how I feel, I said, listen, I feel good. I'm going to play. So uh, I wanted to kind of push that along and try to get as many games as I could underneath my belt. So, um, you know, a little bit sloppy there, but, uh, you know, I'll take a win in my first game back. How did you feel in that regard? Pretty good. It just uh, it kind of felt uh, like it did early in the season. Like there was one where you know I caught the ball. Uh, you know after Kyle, I kind of got caught in the corner there, and I saw Braun, and I passed it out towards half court. Where usually I hit him on the back door. You know it's something that uh, I, I usually see, and he's able to make the play. But you know, I threw it over half court. We got the the back court violation and. A couple swing swings I didn't see. So uh, as far as decision making goes, uh, I feel like a little rusty and, and, and missing seven weeks. But that'll come in the last dozen or so games. So overall, I think it was it was okay. But we got the win in, uh, against a team that is also you know fighting for playoff seated. Yeah, how much five on five have you done? Say it again. How much five on five have you done? Five? Zero. I've only done. You know, I've only gone against the coaches so uh, and I know that's actually a good question because uh, uh, even when I spoke to, to uh, Joe last week in, in Phoenix it was you know trying to get uh, trying to figure out a situation throughout this week because I mentioned Friday being the day that I could get out there and, and, and practice but we just had so many guys out that there wasn't going to be any time to to have a two on two with three on three four on four five on five um, so I just had to kind of throw myself out there and, and, and try to get my rhythm that way. I know. I just saw. I saw Bron uh, coming with the that sort of energy that he wanted to shake. So uh, no, just it had been a little over seven weeks and since we had done that, and he had actually called that play. He had uh, said run right behind me. He flipped it, and uh, you know most of the time guys are open from from out there. So I let it fly. Let it go. Feels strange to come back at ties down here. Yes, you know it's it, it's weird, but uh, as Bron mentioned this morning, uh, health is most important, and you know we would love to see him him back when you know it always counts, but when it really counts, and, and we're making our push. But um, I wish him the best, and you know, like I said, I know uh, we all, you know, this team more than anything knows that uh, um, you know health, regardless of the situation, is is most important. When you guys, when you got hurt at that time. You guys were really spinning your wheels, trying to figure out who goes where, how to fit in all these pieces. <clears throat> Did you feel like you knew exactly where you felt tonight, or where you fit tonight coming back? Um, yes and no. I mean, I can always go out there and, and play my game, but I felt initially, um, uh, I don't know if I had any shots inside the paint tonight, only because um, I gave up one. I threw one to Jeff and turned it over, but... Um, uh, as far as finding out where, where to pick and pop and where to pick and roll, I just uh, felt a little rusty on that too. That's part of decision making as well. Is just figuring out where, when, and where to roll, and you know, kind of uh, you know, being back at the five and, and, and doing that again. But 
you know, that'll just get better. And, and, you know, once I watch some film tomorrow and pick my spots a little bit better, it'll be all good. Kevin, even with you coming back, you guys were obviously still a little bit undersized against the Milwaukee team, but you out-rebounded by like 10. What was the difference for you on the glass tonight? I think just hitting him first, having that mentality. Uh, Braun did a great job of that. And, um, you know, we had a number of guys that, that uh, had several rebounds tonight. So, uh, yeah, they were long athletic team they get out in transition they uh keep balls alive and uh you know they they actually shoot um you know shot quite a bit of threes tonight and uh, you know, those balls are falling all over the place so i felt like we did a good job of that i guess to ask this a little more bluntly in january we were trying to incorporate isaiah as a result everybody's numbers went south mm -hmm. now you've cleared out not only him but five other guys you come back do you know you feel like this is LeBron's offense and your offense, and you know exactly where you fit in terms of the grand <coughs> now. Yeah, I think so. I think just, uh, um, you know, it's tough to say with, with four guys out, but um, I think all the, all those guys, they play both sides of the ball. They um, play extremely hard, and, um, you know, even in just get them in the first two games, I know that, um, you know, it had been an 11-10 and 10 record, uh, you know, since that time, I believe, but... Um, no, I felt like just playing extremely hard and, and, and just going out there and playing tough basketball. That's what that's what uh, you know felt like the identity of this this team was. I know that's pretty primitive in my way of, of, of saying it, um, um, but yeah, I think Braun uh, definitely leading the strike, and then uh, you know everybody else kind of molding and gelling around that is is the way we play.